Welcome to Wrestling Flash. In this WWE and All Things Wrestling video we are going to look at WWE's major swerve for Goldberg vs Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber. Bray Wyatt refuses to be a part of Roman Reigns' historic WWE record, and takes a shot at him in the process. Paul Heyman's promos receive major criticism and more. Former WWE writer Vince Russo believes Paul Heyman's promos haven't evolved in recent years. Since his return to WWE in 2012, Paul Heyman has been a frequent presence. He has worked as an on-screen manager for various top-tier superstars, including Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, and CM Punk, as well as a brief time backstage as an executive director. While speaking about Heyman for the Sportskeeter Wrestling Awards, Russo stated that his promos have become repetitive and suggested that WWE could replace him with an animated figure. He also clarified that his viewpoint isn't aimed at Roman Reigns on screen manager. Russo's brand was found years ago. Every week for the past eight years, I've watched Raw. He's been doing the same commercial for years. It's the same ad over and over again. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is a total shoot. WWE, according to Russo, should make Heyman into an animated character. Because Heyman cuts the same, exact promo every time, the WWE should make him an animated character. Fire the real Paul Heyman. Save the money. Make him animated, have him walk out with Lesnar or Reigns, let him be animated, put him in the ring, let him cut the same promo. It would be far less expensive because he says the same thing every week. It's exhausting. Hall of Famer Rob Van Dam, who is also a panelist at this year's Sportskeeter Wrestling Awards, believes Heyman is still one of the finest on the mic. You believe he truly feels the way he is expressing himself about whatever the promotion is. He is so good that you can tell when he goes outside of his normal box and is never scared to do so. And when he does, it's always for the correct purpose RVD stated. Heyman, according to the WWE icon, speaks with a lot of conviction anytime he's in the ring to cut a promo, which makes him credible. It's becoming more difficult to find someone who completely agrees with how WWE has treated Biggie over the last few months. In September 2021, the New Day powerhouse won his first WWE Championship by cashing in his money in the bank against Bobby Lashley. He would keep the world title for the rest of the year before losing it against Brock Lesnar on day one of the premium live event. WWE personality Peter Rosenberg joined Renee and Misha on the latest edition of Throwing Down W. Renee and Misha to discuss a number of topics. When asked about how Big E has been treated on WWE television recently, Rosenberg didn't hold back. When he won the championship, and I told him the other day, Peter Rosenberg said, I was in this awkward position when you won the title. Everyone was so fired up, and I didn't like the manner you earned it, I said to him. It didn't make sense to me. I thought it was rushed. They were basically like, Big E is cashing in tonight. One night, it was advertised, and now the moment has come. Between him cashing in and the match, there was a commercial break. Can you do anything else to dispel any doubt about the nature of the cash-in? Rosenberg argues that once Big E won the WWE Championship, WWE had no long-term plot in mind, citing his early exit from the men's 2022 Royal Rumble match as an example. The funny thing is, all the Sesmart wrestling fans are all like, we know wrestling so well, but when someone wins a belt, they think that's all that matters. Peter Rosenberg continued, however, how they obtain the title and what occurs once they have it are more significant for their long-term story. They certainly don't have any serious plans right now. As evidenced by the way Big E was booted from the Rumble. That's how it appeared to me. What do you think of Rosenberg's remarks? Do you agree with him when it comes to Big E's WWE Championship reign? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment in the section below. Roman Reigns will defend his Universal Championship against Goldberg at the Elimination Chamber in a few days. The match, which was initially scheduled for WrestleMania 36, will now take place in Saudi Arabia on the way to WrestleMania 38. The Tribal Chief has had a phenomenal reign, with his reign lasting more than 500 days. Will Goldberg be the one to end Roman Reigns' streak, which has included luminaries such as Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, and John Cena? Though it is unlikely that WWE will have Reigns lose the championship before his huge WrestleMania fight against Brock Lesnar, there is a good chance that the promotion is planning a swerve. Brock Lesnar will face Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship in the Elimination Chamber, along with four other men. Lesnar lost the WWE Championship to Bobby Lashley at Royal Rumble. Therefore, he's unlikely to suffer two consecutive defeats before WrestleMania 38. If Brock Lesnar wins the belt in the Elimination Chamber, he may deprive Roman Reigns of the Universal Championship. In his Wrestling Observer Newsletter, 
Dave Meltzer discusses Brock Lesnar's Elimination Chamber match. It's difficult to picture Lesnar losing two straight PPV singles battles building to the Roman Reigns match. And the Chamber doesn't let you use DQ finishes or outside meddling to get out of it. Dave Meltzer also remarked that Goldberg winning the title in his final match under his current contract is illogical. However, if WWE has offered him a new contract, it is possible that he will be made champion as an added incentive to re-sign. Reigns will defend the Universal Championship against Bill Goldberg. It's the final match of Goldberg's contract, and ending Reigns' extended reign before Mania makes no sense. But there's still the possibility of Lesnar winning the WWE title, denying Reigns the Universal, and Reigns defeating Lesnar for the WWE title at Mania while Goldberg loses to Lashley or Rollins, Meltzer explained. Brock Lesnar won the Royal Rumble and the opportunity to face a champion at WrestleMania. So it would make more sense for Lesnar to enter the largest platform of all as a challenger rather than the champion. But in the realm of WWE, everything is possible. Do you agree with the likely scheduling of the Brock Lesnar Roman Reigns feud by WWE? Please let us know in the comments section below. Bray Wyatt has stated publicly that he will not be featured in Roman Reigns' historic WWE record. Give Me Sports Louis Dangor tweeted that a win against Goldberg would mean Roman Reigns has defeated every former Universal Champion in WWE during his current reign with the same title. Some of the biggest names in the business are on the list, including Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, and past champions Braun Strowman and Bray Wyatt. Wyndham, Aka, Bray Wyatt reacted promptly to the post and demanded that his name be removed from the list. Take my name off that ass, he tweeted. Roman Reigns began his current Universal Championship reign with a no-holds-barred victory over the fiend Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman. However, it was Strowman who was pinned throughout the bout, causing the fiend to lose his title. Bray Wyatt then formed a partnership with Alexa Bliss, and the two superstars eventually joined Raw. The fiend had a feud with Randy Orton, and their storyline culminated with the Viper winning WrestleMania 37 as a result of Bliss' betrayal. Bray Wyatt was dismissed by WWE three months later. In July, Reigns has cemented himself as the biggest heel in WWE since his match against The Fiend and Strowman at Payback, and he recently became the promotion's longest reigning Universal Champion. Brock Lesnar This year's Royal Rumble winner formally held the record. It's worth adding that Reigns didn't beat Seth Rollins either as the Tribal Chief intentionally disqualified himself and maintained his title at Royal Rumble 2022 thanks to Champion's advantage. Roman Reigns celebrated his successful title defense and reunion with Paul Heyman two weeks ago. The Bloodline celebrations, however, were cut short as Goldberg announced the Universal Champion as his next victim. Both superstars will face off in the Elimination Chamber later this week. This encounter has been in the works for two years. And Reigns is convinced that he will put an end to the renowned competitor's ring career. Goldberg admitted that the Usos and Paul Heyman could have an impact on the outcome of his battle against Roman Reigns. He is, however, adamant on focusing solely on the champion. 